would completely trust putting a speaker on top of this. And actually, if you can tell, it's pretty strong. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome to the garage. We're gonna probably be filming some more videos down here in the garage, talk about some products so I don't have to drag them up to my apartment. Today I'm bringing you guys a special product. It is a collapsible totem from Rockville. As you guys know from Mobile Beat Las Vegas, I there was collapsible totems there and I expressed my extreme interest in the collapsible totems because we use totems here at Fusion Sound Lighting. We use totems, they're up there on the wall. We use the real trust totems when we do our packages. Our main package has totems in it. Now, not all of my DJs have a big ginormous trailer or a nice big van to bring all of their equipment. So having totems that can fit in a car is huge. And actually where I found out about the Rockville version is actually from my buddy Darren from Respins Entertainment out of Houston, Texas. Uh, he just picked up a few of these and I was like, are they any good? And he's like, dude, these things are awesome. He puts his like EKX tops on top of these, which we'll get into all of the details on this. But this is a complete collapsible totem. And as soon as he told me that he liked them, I literally went on Amazon and purchased two of them. And uh, here they are. Now, I've already put together this one right here. I do have one more in the box right now. So we're going to do a complete unboxing to show you guys basically how you put them together and all that fun stuff. But I will say right off the back, the prototype ones that ADJ had from Eliminator. These things are like five times beefier than that. These things are extremely sturdy and I am very impressed when I first unbox these and put this together. So obviously it comes with the white scrim. It also comes with a black scrim and it also comes with a speaker pole mount up here or you can also use that for a T-bar. One thing I want to point out off the back here is that it is not as tall as a standard totem, a standard truss totem, or the standard ones that are just the poles, the truss glow totems. It is not as tall, it's actually one foot shorter. As you can see me standing right beside this thing, it's actually just a little bit shy of six foot. The normal trussing up here is actually six foot six. So if you imagine just about yay taller is what a normal trust totem would look like. So I kind of want to show you guys how sturdy this thing is. Keep in mind they want you to sandbag it, but uh, for the most part, if I step down on this so I got some weight on the base plate, this thing, like that's me lifting it up there, but for the most part, this thing is pretty rock solid. I would completely trust putting a speaker on top of this, and actually, if you can tell, it's pretty strong. I'm not necessarily sure what all the specs on the weight limits and all that is, so they're listed right here. The height is, the weight limit, and all that fun stuff. Another side note, it actually is variable height, so you have multiple holes along here that you can hang this thing at multiple different heights along the way. Now, in terms of how this is all held together, there's only four hand screws on the top. There's these cross members that also go in there and then another four on the bottom. And that's all that holds this thing together. So now that you've seen the completely put together version of this, let's unbox a brand new one and show you what all it comes with. Cause it comes with a lot of features and let's go ahead and put that one together because I gotta put this one together anyways. And then we'll also break them down and show you how they fit into the carrying bags. All right, so right here we have the box for the Rockville. Let's open it up. I will note the box is very heavy, which is a, a good thing because that means this thing is made out of real steel, real metal, and it's heavy duty. You have the two A frames. So you have the first frame right here, the first side of the frame right here, and you have the other one right here. Like I said, you get a white and a black scrim for the totem, so if you want to do black, do black and if you want to do white you can do white. You get your two bags one is for the frames and then one is for all the base plates and there's pockets and all that for the screws. There's instructions and manuals but you know no one reads those anyways. Inside of this box we get the four cross members which are right here and we get our eight hand screws. They also come with nuts and bolts if you wish to permanently bolt this together and leave it put together but there's hand screws that also work just as well. One very, very cool thing that Rockville throws in is the speaker mount. So this will go on the top plate and you can then mount a speaker to the top of your totem 
or vice versa, you can mount a T-bar and do like multiple lights hanging off of it, whatever you want, but it's awesome they include it. Inside of the last box here, we get our top plate and we get two adhesive foam pads that you can put on the top plate so that your lights don't slide around and stuff like that. Pretty cool thing that they throw it in as well. And of course, we get the base plate, which actually weighs quite a bit. So like I said, you get the base plate, the top plate, these two foam adhesive pads that you can put on top of the base plate so your lights don't slide around. Eight, actually I think it's nine hand screws. One is for the speaker pole adapter. The two frames, both black and white scrims, are four cross members, bolts if you don't want to use the hand screws, and both a bag for the frames and everything that goes there and the base plate. And side note, these bags are actually a lot more like durable and way better built than the original Rockville bags that I got for my hydraulic speaker stands which are back somewhere in that corner. So now I'm going to show a quick time lapse as well as tell you how long it takes me to assemble one of these totems. Keep in mind I've only done one of these so far so I'm not really too familiar with how this goes together. I kind of know but uh, this is kind of like a real world test of how quick it takes to put this together. Alright, ready? Let's get set. Let's go. So, as you guys saw, that took me literally right under four minutes, probably about three minutes and 45 seconds from what I could tell on the camera. That is plenty quick for setting up this totem, especially when you consider like putting pins in that and stuff like that. Now, before I package this up real quick, I wanna show you guys some other cool stuff about this totem. I completely skipped over it, but they also come with a bunch of Velcro ties so that you can attach your cables to the inside of the truss to make it very clean. Nice cable management also comes with these collapsible totems. That's pretty awesome. These hand screws right here feel very good in terms of like being able to twist them in and being able to find the actual like threaded hole that it goes into it is uh, very easy to do. So uh, that's awesome. The fact that it is very easy to put together. It's not like you're sitting here twisting this back and forth trying to find where this actually screws into. It's actually very easy and really easy to do. Raising and lowering the totem is very simple. So you have these four pins right here. All you do is you pop the pin out, you twist it to lock it out just like that. Do the same over here, do the same over here, and do the same over here. Then all you gotta do is lower it down and you can raise it up. And it locks out so that that way you don't actually pull this thing out of the socket. So that's awesome. Little feature that they included is that it won't actually come out of the slots. Pretty awesome. So to lock it into a location, it's gonna lock into any of these sets of holes. So say I wanna do this one, I'm gonna push it down a little bit. I'm gonna activate my pins by twisting them into the locking position. And then I'm gonna push it down a little bit and right there it is, all four locked in and we are set and ready to go. I did post this totem early on Instagram. Instagram link is right there. If you guys wanna get in touch with me, DM me on Instagram. Some of you guys were asking about the robustness of this totem and if you could hang a TV off of it. Let's start with robustness. This thing, as you guys saw me hanging off this thing, is very strong and very sturdy. Especially if you put some weight on the bottom, this thing will have no problem handling just about any size moving head you want to put up here and pretty much any size speaker, minus say like an SRX 815. I think it would work actually. We're gonna try it here. We're gonna put an SRX 815 JBL on top of this. That is a 63 pound speaker and we're gonna see how sturdy it is. But let's cover the second question and that is can you hang a TV off of this? These holes right here do not go all the way through the truss. But if you took a drill and went through this hole right here to the other side, you could more than likely bolt on an attachment to hang a TV off of this totem. Keep in mind, you definitely, definitely are going to have to sandbag or put some weight on the bottom because this thing will be very top heavy on the front. Even though I hanged off of it, you don't really necessarily want that at a gig. So I can tell you that you probably can hang a TV off of this 
if you drill through this hole and create basically a uh, hole that goes all the way through, go to your hardware store, find a bolt that goes through this, and you can bolt a TV plate on the front of this so that you can hang a TV. Like I mentioned, there's these adhesive foam pads that you can put on top here so that, say, you have a moving head that likes to move around a lot. You can set your moving head down here, set the feet on here, and it will keep it in place and help reduce vibration. As well as if you have a speaker like we're gonna have, having the speaker rest on this and not this metal will reduce the vibration and basically make this thing not shake. So now let's take this speaker cup pole mount right here, put it on here. We gotta screw a bolt in through the bottom here and let's put a speaker on top of the totem. For the purposes of this video, this is almost six feet in the air. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to uh, lift up onto here, but we're gonna try and do it with the S-Rack. One thing I'm noticing off the get-go is that the speaker doesn't go all the way down to the totem. I don't know if that's by design or what the deal is with that, but it actually is kind of resting on top of that. And it's a little bit of wobbly, but I think that's because I need to do, uh, there's like a speaker pole adapter that uh, you normally use with speakers to make sure it sits on their square. But as you see, like I'm trying to push this over. Like I'm getting close, but it, it, it's pretty far off. You have to go to about right there. I am very impressed. I am, I'm literally very impressed. Like I said, it doesn't actually sit all the way down here, so it's kind of wobbly on there, but you could easily fix that with a speaker adapter. But I am, I am blown away at how sturdy that thing is. Like, I can, I can put a good amount of force into this thing. I mean, it shakes all the hell and back, but in terms of being able to handle the weight and hold it up there, it's solid. I was actually considering doing this for the proms we just did, but I like, I was like, nah, it's not gonna be strong enough to hold an SRX. I could've easily done that. So now the last thing we have to discuss with a totem is lighting up the totem. And you guys probably wanna know what lights will fit down there. So let's look at some lights I got. Right here we have an ADJ Mega Hex Bar. Easily slips in, easily fits right there. No problem. Comes down on both sides, doesn't stick out. Good to go. Now if we try something like an ADJ Element Hex Bar, uh, yeah, as long as you balance it on those two beams like that, you're pretty much set. And uh, we can take a look now at what it looks like. All glown up with the speaker. So it's on sound active right now, so we can make it bounce a little bit, change colors. Pretty sweet. So, this is very impressive. Like, I'm blown away. We're actually using them this weekend, so uh, that's awesome. We're putting ADJ InnoSpot Pros, which are down there in uh on top of those for that event and uh we'll probably be using them like this for speaker mounts here in the near future but the last thing we got to do is break them down and uh see how well they fit into the bags because transporting is the main portion of why these are collapsible and why i bought them And here is the final product. For reference, I have a tape measure here. This is three foot, just under three foot six long and uh, just about a foot tall. So you got two handles here. Uh, this probably weighs around, I wanna say 30 pounds by itself right there. They do have an awesome pouch right here to put your hand screws. They also have one on the base plate. So if you wanna put them on there, you wanna put them on there, there's plenty of room inside of there. The base plates are both in this bag right here and this one actually weighs less than that bag. So that's actually pretty cool. This actually probably weighs around 25 pounds-ish and that weighs about 30 pounds. So that's bag number one and bag number two and that's all you gotta bring for each totem. And there you have it, the Rockville Collapsible Totems. Collapses into a very, very super small compact form factor, but when assembled has a big impact and that actually is not all the way up. If these weren't cool enough, the coolest part about this is they're by far the cheapest collapsible totems on the market right now. So if you guys like what you see here for the Rockville Collapsible Totems, again, this was not sponsored by Rockville at all. 
I found these from a friend, purchased them on Amazon literally like two days ago. They're here, they're assembled, they're awesome, they're dope, and I'm so excited to start using these things. So if you guys want to check them out, link to the Amazon, uh, where I got them on Amazon is in the description down below as well as the first comment. These are the Rockville Collapsible Totems. They're like literally going like hotcakes right now on Amazon and on their website. I think they're sold out on their website right now. So if you guys want to pick them up, check them out in the description down below and in the comments. But anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you like seeing stuff like this, this product, stuff like this, uh, leave it down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of the Rockville Collapsible Totems. Let me know all that fun stuff like that. If, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. Like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning guys, and I will see you guys next time. Probably at a gig or probably in the garage doing something with some sort of equipment of some sort. Peace.